Yo, what is up my panda peeps? How are all y'all doing? Back at it again with another YouTube video. Now today what I want to be talking about with y'all is my biggest turnoffs. Specifically, my top 10 biggest turnoffs towards females. And do not worry my female panda peeps, if you want to do my top 10 biggest turnoffs for guys, for you girls, I got you. Just let me know in the comment section down below and by hitting that thumbs up button. So as I further ado, my top 10 biggest turnoffs, let's go. Coming in at number 10, you know them females that always joke around and say that they have, ooh, what, oh, I don't know how to word this correctly, but, I mean, you, you know, this, this, why would you joke around like that? Like, in nowadays, in the world that we live in, I might start to actually think that that's kind of true. I mean, like, orange is the new black. Yeah. Number nine, girls with bad attitudes. Whew! You could be the most baddest female. You could be the most, you, you could just be the most sexiest female alive. You could just, you could just have the whole package. But if that attitude, if you got a stank out of, if that attitude is just a little stinky stinky, I do not want to deal with you. You know how frustrating it is to have a female who is always just mad at the world for no reason? For no reason, you gotta go. There's the door. Get out. Number eight, girls with bad hygiene. And basically what I'm saying is girls who walk around smelling like a fish market. <coughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's not really that hard to, you know, grab a bar of soap and, you know, cloth and, you know, you know, do what you gotta do. But, you know, that's, that's just, that's just. <coughs> <coughs> what I'm trying to say is how hard is it to you know just just like you know what I mean I really did choke on that water bottle <clears throat> number seven another big one is insecurity for me because I mean like I can tell you that you was just one fine specimen of a human being and not just be like I just want to eat you up like a box of chocolates and you know you just be like what no I'm ugly like Oh my god, like, I'm not pretty, like, oh my god. The thing that I don't understand about that is, if everybody tells you that you look good, how do you, how do you still have that mindset of, yeah, I'm ugly? I don't really understand that. But like I said, I ain't gonna try to figure out the female brain. That is a job in itself. Number six, girls who are constantly glued to their phone. Now, say if we was on our first date or whatever, and you know, I'm, I'm just trying to spend time with you. You know, this is, this is our first date. And you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to kick it with you. But when you are constantly on your phone, taking Snapchat of everything that we do every single second, Snapchat don't need to be worried about what we doing because I'm worried about you. So why you got your phone all 24 seven? Number five, the always negative girl. Where I'm talking about every single day and every single second and every single minute. Or is it minute before a second? I don't know, but they always gotta be the Debbie Downer. Like, my nigga, can you smile once in a while? Getting a little hot in here, a little bit toasty, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Number four, controlling females. Now, I don't really know how to explain this female, but le let me let me just break it down to you like this. Basically, the girl who tells you when to do it, how to do it, and who to do it with. I mean, like, girl, I am the man in the relationship. Let me feel like the man. I mean, like, if you gotta ask her to chill with this, if you gotta ask your girl to chill with this, if you got to ask her to go chill with this one, fam, she got the balls in the relationship. Just saying. Number three, clingy girls. Now, I don't have a problem with all clingy girls because, you know, sometimes it's kind of cute. But I ain't talking about the cute clingy. I'm talking about the annoying clingy where they just want to be with you every single second of the day. And like, it could be like, it could be like, 
It could be like a, a like a really important family situation, and like she just want to be with you when she know dad going well. She's supposed to be with her family. Like like say if like her puppy died, like little Fido didn't make it. Now all dogs go to heaven. Like you're supposed to be there mourning with your family, but you want to be chilled up with me. Nigga, if you do that, go say your goodbyes to my nigga Fido. Like, what? I mean, just so clingy. I mean, to the point where you can't even go take a peaceful poop without her asking what it looked like. What? Now, number two, this is kind of a serious big turnoff. A girl with no goals. I'm attracted to a girl who already knows what she wants to be in life and you know, I'ma I'm a motivate her to you know, be what she wanna be. Like, I, she has to have goals, fam. But if you don't got no goals, I can't kick it with you. Get it? Goals, kick it, soccer. You, you know, all right, on to the next. All right, and for my last one, number one, the last one, the biggest turnoff in my book, and hopefully some of you guys can relate, the biggest turn off to me coming in at number one girls who walk around and act like they are so better than every other female on this planet i'm talking about the girl who walks around acting like her poop don't stink acting like her fart smells like roses honey girl you are just like everybody else if you don't sit your butt down for i have to smack the peace love and positivity Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you are the same as every other female in this whole entire world. You are a human being, and you're gonna get treated like a human being. And for you to walk around like you are some type of, some type of, some type of princess, like you were born into like a, a, a fancy family, I don't wanna deal with you. All right, my panda peeps, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Let's try to hit another 10 likes today. Let's see if we can hit 10 likes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Always remember and do not forget, don't let anyone tell you how to live your life. Be free, be humble, and most importantly, be you. My name is Pen Dubs, and I am out. Zeusies!